some of the last people to see IU student Hannah Wilson alive. Hope their testimony puts her accused killer away for good. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker spent the day in Brown County at the Daniel Messel trial. And Emily, uh, his whereabouts leading up to and after the murder, also key sticking points to the jury. Naomi, today the jury heard from two people who last heard from or saw Hannah Wilson alive the night she disappeared. Colt Burnett, who met Hannah Wilson just a few weeks before she was killed, testified Wilson called him at 1.02 a.m. early Friday morning, April 24th. Burnett told the court he couldn't hear what Wilson said because he was in a noisy bar, so he texted her back four minutes later, but never heard from her again. Investigators say that's the last time phone records show Wilson used her phone. That phone, say investigators, was later found on Wilson's bed. Jurors also heard from the taxi driver who took Wilson back to her Bloomington home the night she disappeared. Wes Yateman testified Wilson was intoxicated when two men put her into his cab outside of Kilroy's bar. Yateman told the court Wilson asked her friends to stay out and not go home. Yateman testified he dropped Wilson off at the corner of 8th and Dunn Street, but didn't see if Wilson went into her house that night. And coming up tonight at 6, I'll tell you about a former co-worker of Daniel Messels who was with him the night before Hannah Wilson's body was found and why he says he called state police back once he learned that Messel had been charged with Wilson's murder and found out how she died. John.